Back Kitchen is brought to you by Harvest Market. When we're at home more, means we have to cook at home more. And sometimes it can be tough to come up with creative ideas, especially when we're kind of in the midst of a bit of a meat shortage. Here to inspire us, Chef Adam Moore, joining me from Chicago. Adam, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, in my, I'm in my kitchen today cooking up some of my favorite summer dishes with Australian grass-fed beef. Um, in front of me, I have four dishes two using ground grass-fed beef, and two using more of the steak cuts that you might find in the store with grass-fed beef. Today I'm using sirloin. Um, both are great options if you can't find uh, beef or another cut of meat in the store. Can we talk a little so, bit about why uh, Australian is important or at least why it's different? Yeah, so I like working with Australian meat because of the quality and the consistency of the product. Um, it's also 100% grass-fed, grass-finished. So what that leads to is a very high nutrition con content and count with iron and zinc within uh, the meat that I'm able to uh, help boost my immune system. So I love cooking with it that way. I thought maybe all the cows were just upside down, but that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> well, they have plenty of land to roam. And one of the other things that makes me feel good about cooking with Australian is that they do have an initiative in 2030 to go entirely carbon neutral. So I feel really good about that and supporting uh, that industry with my red meat choices. Absolutely. Well, let's go through these four dishes quickly and sort of uh, see what you've put together and maybe how we can do a little bit of that in our own kitchens. Sure thing. The first thing I have here, the all classic hamburger. The number one question I get with grass fed beef is how do I cook grass fed beef? The answer is exactly the same as you would cook regular beef. Um, the flavor you'll notice is just a little bit different, but not in a bad way. Very, very mild and clean in flavor. Um, because grass-fed beef is so lean, you're also going to want to cook it just a little bit less than what you uh, would cook grain-fed. But in terms of the flavor, works really well with the classics like hamburgers, as well as something like I like to do with my family at home is Taco Tuesdays. So some ground grass-fed beef tacos, perfect for the family. Uh, again, very mild and clean flavor, goes well with just about any flavor profile you want to put on that. And now these other two are more of a, you said more of a steak cut rather than the, uh, the ground beef type. Exactly, exactly. So in front of me here, I have two of the, my favorite things that I like to do with steak, outside of just eating it as just a whole steak. One is kebabs. Uh, summertime's great for grilling with these types of kebabs. Again, you want to cook them just a little bit less than what you would uh, traditional beef because it's so lean. Um, but what you get here is a beautiful kebab, great flavor profile. And what I like to do is use that type of, of beef to put over like a nice salad. Here I have a nice grain salad with some fresh vegetables. I always look for the freshest vegetables at the store that time of the year uh, to pair with my kebabs. And then on the end here, I'm using some of those same ingredients that I put into that grain-fed salad, but instead I made a delicious Vietnamese-style uh, whole steak salad. So I took some of that same uh, beef that I used in the kebabs, sliced it nice and thin, and put it right over the top with delicious fresh vegetables, a little bit of vermicelli noodles, as well as a delicious uh, lime and rice wine vinegar dressing. And we have the recipe for that that we'll put on our website for everyone so they can check it out. Uh, exactly. Do you, uh, maybe it's just preference, but what, what's the way to cook steak? Is it medium? Is it medium well? Is it rare? What, what's your uh, go-to? Yeah, so with, with grass-fed beef, I always aim uh, medium or below. Uh, but it's all based on your own personal preference. But I wouldn't go any higher than medium with, with grass-fed beef only because it's very lean and it's going to start to dry out once you start to get to some of those higher temperatures. So somewhere be a... between still mooing and a little pink. <laughs> Not quite, but yeah, you want to aim for just that, that light pink color. Um, or if you have an instant read, read thermometer at home, 130 to 135 degrees is the target that you're aiming for. And right before you slice it, let it rest for about five to 10 minutes. You don't need a searing hot steak, and it's going to allow those juices to 
just come back into that steak nice and slowly so then when you cut it open, they don't all, all come out. Well, it looks amazing. We uh, thank you for your time. And uh, again, we'll put the recipe for that Vietnamese uh, salad on our website. And uh, you've made me hungry, so uh, mission, uh, mission accomplished. Perfect. Thanks again for having me. Thanks, Thank Adam. We appreciate it. And uh, we will connect you with that recipe and all the other details that Adam shared with us today on our website, which is ciliving.tv.